to another red hot stock sector. Big technology and big banks lining up behind nuclear energy and power, giving a boost to a once forgotten industry. Check out shares right now of Vistra, which was the mystery chart that we showed you just a few minutes ago. It's up nearly 200 percent this year. It's the best performing stock in the entire S&P 500, even better than, yes, NVIDIA. Constellation Energy, meanwhile, is the number three stock in the S&P 500. It's up about 117 percent. And Pippa Stevens is here with more on that red hot trade in energy that's not necessarily traditional alternative energy. Pippa. Well, good morning, Dom. So there was already a lot of momentum behind nuclear power. And now the world's biggest banks are on board with 14 financial heavyweights, including Bank of America, Citi, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, throwing their support behind tripling nuclear output by 2050. Jim Schaefer from Guggenheim, which also signed on, told me, quote, Wall Street is ready to fund the growth of the new nuclear industry today and for generations to come. Now, that's notable because nuclear projects have traditionally faced steep price tags. And now tech companies are interested in that emissions free baseload power, even if it's at a higher price, which is what we saw with Constellation bringing Three Mile Island back online to power Microsoft data centers. Now, Cameco is the world's second largest uranium miner, and CEO Tim Gitzel told me tech companies want large, clean electricity, and they see nuclear as filling that void, adding that he's, quote, certain there will be large nuclear projects built in the U.S. again. But, Dom, now that Vogel Units 3 and 4 are online down in Georgia, there are no commercial reactors under construction in the U.S. There's a reason why, because for the longest time, especially because of things like Three Mile Island, there's been a very negative view been, that's been cast on the industry. What exactly has now changed to make the public and the private sectors much more receptive to the idea of having a nuclear reactor in their backyard, so to speak? I think the industry, it's now viewed as what is the alternative, because wind and solar can only get us so far given that they're intermittent power sources, and so you need energy storage alongside them. And we're not quite there yet with batteries. And so nuclear is seen as the only emissions-free baseload power source. And we've seen that, especially with younger generations, Gen Z and millennials, support for nuclear is on the rise. Plus, we saw after Russia invaded Ukraine, we saw fossil fuel prices spike. We saw oil get a, above 130. And so that led to kind of a reset worldwide. And what does the energy grid of the future look like? And that's really when this late wave of momentum behind nuclear began and then you add in things like electrification reshoring and now data centers and there's a whole lot of demand coming on the grid for the first time in two decades power demand is now meaningfully growing and so nuclear is seen as a way to fill that void